Are you struggling to create your resume? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the perfect resume using AI. You can showcase your skills, highlight your experience, and all the while saving time. Let's get into it. So I'm going to show you how you can create a CV with Copilot. So specifically, we are using Copilot for 365 in Microsoft Word. So there's two approaches to this. First approach we're going to take is if you haven't got a LinkedIn profile or you don't wish to use your LinkedIn profile to create your CV. But if you have got a LinkedIn profile, it is certainly easier because that gives Copilot some information to work with. But first of all, let's create a CV without any LinkedIn profile. So what we're going to do is click the Copilot icon here. You can do that or as it says on the screen, you can press Alt plus I. And then we get this pop-up box. So the box pops up like this. And what we're going to do is put in this prompt to create a CV that I can use when applying for the role of a social media manager in London. So just putting in that extra information so that we can customize the CV a little bit. So I've created the generate button and now it should go ahead and give us what's essentially, I guess, a combination of a document and a, a template, but it'll certainly give us a, a good starting point of a CV that we can then update with my personal information. So obviously you could do this for yourself. So you can see that it's starting to put in some headings and some information here into the CV. And we've got a lot of generic stuff like name at example.com. So the idea there would be to put in obviously your own personal email address, phone number, LinkedIn profile URL, etc. Then we've got objective, we've got work experience, and once it's finished working, so it's still uh, still working away there, we can scroll down and have a look. Oh, in fact, we can scroll down and have a look at the other sections now. So obviously, it's kind of assumed we've got some roles here um, that I've already or I've already done. So I haven't given it any of this information. But if you have got uh, appropriate roles that you can fill in, then like I say, you can use this as a, a template and complete the appropriate information. Then typically for a CV, we've got education, skills, interest, language, certifications, and publications. And that is a CV there. Obviously, you know, we'd have to tidy it up because it's on uh, just overlapped there onto, uh, onto three pages, but uh, we could sort that out so that it's a bit more compact and neat and tidy on two pages. So that's the first approach if you don't wish to use or you haven't got a LinkedIn profile. So just going to remove that now and create a CV using my LinkedIn profile. So going to click the Copilot icon once again, and this time I'm gonna put in similar instructions, create a CV that I can use when applying for the role of a social media in London with a reference to, and this time I'm going to point it in the direction of my LinkedIn profile. So this is a, a Word version of my LinkedIn profile. So this version should actually be a lot better because it should be more specific and personalized to my actual information on LinkedIn. So it's got a bit of information about the role that I'm applying for and it's got some real information about me that it is in fact starting to uh, populate here on the CV. So you can see that uh, yeah all my skills, interests, languages, uh, certifications, publications, all that is accurate information, education accurate, work experience uh, accurate there. Uh, contact information. Well, it hasn't picked up my email, but that's probably because that's hidden away on LinkedIn. And that's a bit disappointing that it hasn't uh, put in my um, uh, proper name there uh, because that should be on the LinkedIn profile, but no problem. It's easy enough to uh, replace there and do that. So that's how to create a CV using Copilot. 
So here's how to create a CV using ChatGPT. So with ChatGPT, you've got the advantage of something called custom instructions. So these are kind of like standing instructions which ChatGPT use across all your chats. So you can brief it on your personality, your background, your job role, and also how you want ChatGPT to respond to your prompts. So this is how you set it up. So you go to your name at the bottom here, you go to customize chat GPT and then you've got custom instructions here. So this is where you put in your background. As it says here, it's got a few prompts. Where, what do you do for work? What are your hobbies and interests, etc.? So all about you. And then how would you like ChatGPT to respond? So long, short, how do you want to be addressed, etc.? So you can fill that out. So when it comes to creating a CV, it's going to have a certain amount of information on you already. So I could just say create a CV in my prompt, but I'm going to say uh, create a CV for me that's appropriate for this role. Now it can also reference websites, so it's going to build this particular role into my CV. It's going to customize it. And you'll note that I've put for demonstration purposes because just very, very recently, ChatGPT4 has been given something called memory. So it's actually memorizing everything that I'm telling it and using that in future prompts. So I just want it to be clear that I'm not actually uh, applying for this role for real. So let's uh, see how it gets on with uh, with that. So it's you know this is going to be largely dependent on how much information that I've given it in custom instructions and I haven't told it absolutely everything so you can see there's a few gaps there like phone number for example that I need to uh, need to fill in and uh, it's guessed my email address which is interesting but that isn't uh, isn't quite right uh, and it's given a pretty accurate uh, professional summary there pretty accurate on professional uh, experience there. Yeah, that's all uh, all good. Um, yeah, it's even got quite a lot of um, information that I think it's picked up from uh, memory as well as the uh, custom instructions there. And yep, all sort of relevant stuff. And it has uh, been angled a little bit towards that uh, that role there, as you can see in the um, introduction, it's taken that into account that it's for a social media manager position at PPHE Hotel Group as advertised on caterer.com. But I think we can do a little bit better than that. So why don't I add my LinkedIn profile into the mix? So what I can do now is similar, similarly say, for demonstration purposes, create a CV that's appropriate for this role. And then I can say using my LinkedIn profile that is attached. So I'm going to click the paper clip icon with ChatGPT4. You can uh, upload files. So I'm just going to put that in there and upload, which should just take a second. So that has now uploaded uh, very nearly. And then once it has uploaded, I can click on the arrow there. And this time it should be even better because it's got all that extra information from my CV. So straight away it's put in my address there. It's got the email address correct this time. And it's put in my LinkedIn profile address. And probably we will notice some extra bit of detail, I would think, uh, throughout the uh, the CV but we've got similar headings professional summary professional experience pretty similar actually to before but I'm not sure there's there's too much more uh, information to uh, to add maybe some dates there I'm not sure that was uh, that was there before um, so there we go that's a pretty good CV that is appropriate as it says here uh, aligns my extensive experience and specific skills with the requirements of social media manager role at PBHE hotel group so that's how to create your CV using chat GPT now that you've watched the video, you should be in a great position to create your CV in a minimal amount of time using AI. For more tips, check out the NILC Training YouTube channel. See you again next time.